Hey, Michael here. Felt called to make a video today because someone posted online, what would you tell your 18 year old self? And my 18 year old self was struggling in a lot of things. I was really depressed and really struggling to make my life better and not having a lot of success. And quite frankly, my 39 year old self was struggling to make things better and not having a lot of success. And so I looked at that question and I was like, I was suicidal when I was 18. And that's not necessarily a bad idea. Because the last 20 years haven't really been worth it. And that's something that I've really been struggling with. And I commented on this post and somebody said, how dare you bring your whatever to our comment thread, something like that. And it just made me realize that I've always felt wrong as a person, as someone who just doesn't belong. And I had kind of found a nice little niche for myself in a while. It wasn't a great place, but it was a place where I was able to hide from the world and not deal with anything. And that job went away. It was about four years ago. And I had to do something. And so really put a lot of energy into making myself presentable, get a job, move out to Ohio, do different things like that. And like it just wasn't working out. Uh, I couldn't figure out what to study, what to learn, what I needed to do next. And so I just started trying stuff. So I got mixed up with this guy named Bob Proctor and his organization and gave them a lot of money, uh, money I didn't have. And the organization um, they had material that they could have sold me but it was less expensive than what I needed. So, or what I, they wanted to sell me the more expensive product, basically. And um, basically gave me a box and said, here you go, $30,000, gone. And then when I came back and I was like, oh, this isn't working, they were like, oh, we'll take something off the top and you can have something else that doesn't quite help you. Because I'm struggling, so started working with a Tony Robbins coach, started taking all the drugs that I could possibly take from psychiatrists. I've been working with Better, better Help. Tony Robbins coach didn't work out and then I worked with a Brendan Bouchard coach who was who was helpful um, that helped a lot I went through to a couple of Brendan Bouchard events and that was pretty good and now I'm uh, working on a 21 day challenge with Aaron Doherty and 
it's been a hard journey and it's been a really hard journey because um, I told my parents I wasn't going to get into debt again. I'm in massive debt. I can't even pay my credit cards with the minimums. And I really thought I was trying everything that I could try. And it's been a long, long journey. And I'm not in a spot where I'm like, hey, I want to give up now or quit. Because um, who knows, maybe it's just around the corner. Um, there's an awesome YouTube video that says, don't stop on six. Uh, it's about the Battle of Jericho and how the troops marched around every day for six days before they finally attacked on the seventh day. Um, so I don't want to stop prematurely and I want to keep on going. But it's been a long journey and I think it's important to acknowledge that. I think it's important to realize that I've tried a lot of things and maybe I wasn't purposefully taken advantage of, but I feel taken advantage of. And I feel wrong as a human being. And I think I should just kind of leave it at that.